It was on January 10th, Stacy says, when her husband came home from work to a very intense smell. He went to the basement and saw a big flood of oil. And when he went to go get a mail, he actually saw a receipt, $300, from Price Oil Company. A $300 receipt that ended up costing them their entire home. The oil company actually put 100 gallons of oil into this non-working fuel oil pipe. The oil company, they went to the wrong house, and the pipe went down into the walls and just went over the entire basement. We were homeless. Even though we had someone to say technically we were homeless. It was hard for my family just knowing that they weren't going to be in their own home. They were going to be living out of hotels for six months. I mean, having to move from hotel to, to hotel every week was very hard on my family. And I just don't want to relive that again. <laughs> so. It was freezing one day, so it was a water burst pipe in the house. So it was a mixture of some of the oil that was left after the hazmat team initially cleaned it up. It was a mixture of oil and water. Pretty much the whole basement had to be gutted out. The initial cleanup was done, but I still smelled the oil and it was still intense. So I tapped into my resources, reached out to Michelle and told her to come by and do an assessment to figure out why am I still smelling this oil even after the whole remediation had been complete. When I went to the basement to assess the situation, the basement had already been restored by the contractors, but the odor persisted. It was very, very strong. And if it has petroleum on it, the flooring's not gonna stick. And that was already coming up. So remediation effort was not complete. The contractor did clean underneath the washer and dryer. They moved those pieces out, but they did not move the water heater in order to clean underneath it. The contractor sampled the air and had results and said the house was fine, it was safe. But when you looked at those same results, you realize that the contractor was looking at individual chemical constituents and calling them safe and not looking at them as a whole, the additive effects of those chemicals. I don't even know if we would be back in this house if it wasn't for her and her recommendations and her expertise. Professionals like me are not only invested in the immediate needs of your family, but for the long-term health and wealth being of your family. I did reach out to a few people that had a similar incident, and unfortunately they never had an industrial hygienist come out to their home, so they ended up losing their home. So just knowing I had an IH in my corner just makes me forever so grateful. I love my job, I love what I do, and the most satisfying thing is to know that I've made people's lives a little bit better by being assured that they live in a safe, healthy home.